Soweto, South Africa's most popular township, is full of nooks and crannies brimming with history, exhilarating surprises and plenty to do for the curious tourist. So We Too is an initiative made up of six young entrepreneurs with the aim of creating a memorable tour and to showcase the real and fun experiences that Soweto has to offer. So We Too really started as a group of small tourism products in Soweto that realized that by standing together and creating an economy of scale, they could do much more. Um, you know, marketing is very expensive and especially if you're going to do international tourism marketing. So for one business to go uh, to an international exhibition is very expensive. Expensive. So as the Tourism Enterprise Partnership, we're really excited about this because it's something that we've been promoting for quite a while. So we said, okay, as South African Hidden Treasures, let's put together a label and put these groups together. So it's a very small, um, you know, geographic area, for instance, Soweto or Boerkaap. So we put this, this, this group together and there's about 20 of them. And then, of course, the six um, really amazing products in the group said, let's work together. I think internationals are more clued about Soweto than, than locals are. Uh, though uh, we, we separate the two and for locals we have discounted rates because we're trying to encourage them to for them to know, know their own market you know before somebody from overseas tells you how great it was when they were at Banyaza you know they need to experience that themselves and uh, we also believe that's where business can come from because they, they can do repetitive visits, you know, because you, when you've liked a place and you've went, you went and boogied with your friends, chances are you'll come again, you know, but with the international visits, uh, you know, returns are maybe after five years or so. So our, our local market is just as important. We thought, okay, let's, as a collective, uh, uh, come together to say this is who we are and package this nice 24 hours uh, in Soweto because that's another thing is uh, people come in, in and out and, and they go and you know we thought let us give a, an experience that is uh, which has more hours and more things to do and uh, because we are Sowetans and are Soweto residents uh, we thought we can you know out of our passion about the place actually showcase everything you know, we, we, we don't leave any stones unturned. So that's how it came about. My expectations is just, you know, exposing people to the different side of Soweto because I'm on the more creative, you know, creative artsy side of Soweto. So it's just exposing people to, to the different side of Soweto that, you know, Soweto is not just, you know, Velagazi Street and Mandela's house. It's, it's a whole lot of different areas and different people and different experiences. The Soweto Hotel, the only four-star hotel in the township, is rich with history. Dedicated to the 1950s, the hotel pays tribute to many of the heroes and heroines of this remarkable era. The theme indeed is the jazz maniacs, the Sophia Town era, and um, we're very proud obviously to be hosting Alf Kamalo's top photographs of that era that he had photographed. Um, needless to say, and the history behind it, which is also a beautiful story for me, is that people in those days were suppressed and they lived in apartheid and they were not allowed to go out and have parties and have fun, but they did. And that's the beautiful part of it. They got dressed up and they danced and they went down to Sophia Town. And they called themselves the Jazz Maniacs. So our restaurant is called the Jazz Maniacs with Rusty's Bar. And the, the pictures itself on the walls tell exactly that story of the jazz maniacs in the 50s having a good time. Not only is the hotel a leisure stay on a heritage site, but it also motivates the local community to gain knowledge and experience in the tourism industry. Well, first of all, it's a beautiful four-star boutique hotel, which a lot of people don't even know exists. Unfortunately, we have not managed today to get the numbers that we've wanted but slowly but surely we are spreading the word and people want to actually participate except especially for the fact that the hotel itself acts as a catalyst to the community. Um, hotel is four years in existence now, absolutely wonderfully situated, I mean we on heritage site on Freedom Square where the Freedom Charter was adopted in the 50s. Um, and it's just, I think it's such an important part of the history that people should really know about. Um, I'm trying really hard as well to expose it to schools, especially for this generation of people that, that need to know about the history of our country. 
Matlati Arts and Crafts inspires tourists to unleash their creative side, while TKD Tours pushes the tourists to do as locals do and cycle through the streets of Soweto. This tour is all about fun. TKD Tours is a newborn baby. It was born four, four years ago. We do walking tours, we do bicycle tours, we do social tours and Soweto experience tours. Like TKD's tour slogan, taking people to people, this tour provides the tourist with a more intimate perspective of how Sowetans live their lives. With my own understanding, so many of the people, they know Soweto are quoting books, the way they put Soweto in a better way. But uh, some of them now, they visit Soweto and they find something that they've never expected to find. You know, because of through the, the World Cup we are coming in, you know, so yeah. Is hoping that. Adrenaline kicks in on the back of a four-wheeler. Deep in the streets of Soweto, Homozo Pue of Soweto Outdoor Adventures takes tourists on a thrilling outdoor experience. Soweto Outdoor Adventures was started on December 3rd, 2010. Um, when we initially started, it was just the, um, the quad bike in section. Uh, we went through the whole of December and January with just the quad bikes. Uh, when we hit February, we introduced uh, paintball and boat rides and we started doing um, corporate events and team buildings and um, the Soweto Township tour on the back of Kwanbax, um, just showcasing Soweto in a different light. Situated in one of the most popular locations in Soweto, it attracts many tourists, making this a business savvy decision. The reason why I actually brought my business to this location is because of the towers. And at the towers, the only bungee jump between two towers happens right here. And using that as a landmark already, that allowed me to be able to tap into um, business, like basically customers that were non-existent uh, towards me. So uh, South Africans are learning about it daily, especially since the towers have got the bungee jumping in between. They're learning there's an adventure center where you can bungee jump, but on arrival here they find out there's a lot more than what it is. I mean, we, we've done extensive marketing, but you can't do enough marketing. To end off an action-packed day, visitors are taken to Roots Restaurant and Gallery for sundowners and to discover Sowetan art at the same time. Owner Reggie Macheta has put a Sowetan twist on upmarket food. We bring the, the creative um, cuisine and creative arts and creative you know, music and creative, anything creative from Soweto, that's what we bring to the whole package. So, you know, we, we've got, you know, different artists coming through exhibiting, you know, we've got different food that we're always uh, bringing out for people to have. So it's just the different and creative side of, of Soweto, that's what we bring into the table. Although So We Too is a new venture, this group of entrepreneurs plan to further expose and expand their business in the near future. Yeah, we're planning on going down to Indaba, tourism in Indaba, and actually exposing the, the product to a whole lot more people, you know, tour operators, uh, uh, people who buy packages, people who are into, into tourism. So that's who we're going to be selling the product to. With success on the horizon, both locals and international guests will get to experience the joy of Soweto and all it has to offer.